Hi there. Hey. So, how did this all come about? How did you end up designing a watch for Hamilton? Obviously, there's some history, though, with Hamilton. Yeah, um, how did that happen? So, it's a little bit of a, a convoluted story. Um, obviously, on, on Inter we made Interstellar, and we, uh, we invited Hamilton to help us with uh, the design of two key props, which is obviously the watch, which play significantly in the film. And they redesigned a couple of their pieces or ordered them to suit our, our you know, our needs. So I, I was, it was sort of at the end of a long press tour of Interstellar. It was early Saturday morning and we were doing a 9 a.m. Hamilton, uh, I guess they were, they were journalists. And, uh, I, you know, I, I'd been on so many, I sort of turned up at Paramount not really knowing it was Hamilton. And I kind of walked in to do, another talk on Interstellar. It was right at the end before just it was coming out and um, uh, I kind of realized it was Hamilton and our son, uh, George, my stepson, my wife's son, uh, has always wanted to, he was very interested in watchmaking. So I happened to talk to, I got onto the stage, I realized it was Hamilton. I said, hey, do you run a course in New York? And uh, it was Sylvain. And uh, he says, he said, yes, but why don't you come Switzerland and we do a week's course with him and you guys can be tourists wow. so, so uh, you know time went by and it was spring break and then we thought you know well, we have to go and do that that was a great invite so we called them up and they flew us there very kindly and he went and learned watchmaking and we went walking around the hills of Switzerland <laughs> <laughs> the sound of music um, and uh, uh, and then when the time we got back, um, they they kind of said, "Hey, do you want to ever thought of designing a watch?" Mm. So we we're kind of looking for, you know, another version of their you know, Odyssey space watch. So, um, so they said, "Think about it." And when I got on the train with George and my wife, and it was like, "Hey, you know, that might be a good thing to do." And they talked me into it, and then, and of course, then we, you know. Had to do it, <laughs> so that's kind of, it. Started by a sort of chance trip for you know a 17 year old to learn watchmaking, that's so, amazing, and then it kind of went on and on from there. And so I ended up going back uh, many times and doing some watchmaking courses myself. Wow. So uh, uh, it worked out perfectly. And then I thought, well, I mean, I should talk about the design, the, the design, uh, you know, sort of grew from that. I mean, I, I was interested in doing something that uh, uh, felt that was sort of related to space stations and the endurance of the ship we'd made and the, you know, the, the quality of, 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 of some of our designs of ships. And, um, and we sort of slowly, together, we, just myself and Hamilton, slowly developed, you know, this, our, our X3. So, uh, and, awesome. and really, the design is, is really, a, it's about symbolizing the space station uh, through a window. So, huh. that, and that, that is the core of the design. That's amazing. So it's an orbital ship through, through a, uh, an endurance window. So, and somehow they got all these movements with the distances, because it's very important that they link through this arm. Right. And the three circles, and the fourth circle is the window. But, so somehow they got all these movements to work, which technically I think I think was very difficult. <laughs> Do you? I mean, is that? Uh, I assume that must be the hardest part of making a watch is actually making the design fit with the specifications that have to make a watch work. Is that? Yeah, but they is that difficult? true to this, this. This isn't far off where we end. You know, it was about the distances between between the movements and how thick we could get the feeling of these. The, the thickness of the actual circle. So, right. but they didn't veer too far off. Like they really, their their technical team were really quite superb in trying to hold the design. So they're very, actually very true to it. I'm I'm very impressed. <laughs> this is the the prototype, which uh, seems to be keeping time very well. <laughs> <laughs> so. For a film, you know, for someone working in film, is it really gratifying to have something? you're wearing that you know you've designed because in film obviously you, you get to see it up on the screen you get to yeah. see different aspects but you don't get to carry it around with you no not at all it's all it's it, 
it, it sort of lives in, uh, you know, our 3D world lives in 2D world. Right. Know? That lives, you know, on the screen, and we knock down the sets, and everyone's always horrified that we're bulldozing down the sets. It's like, well, it's life continues on that piece of celluloid. So, right. so it's actually, it was actually very difficult uh, mm. designing an object uh, that was just a singular object and such a small object. It was actually, actually one of the, yeah, it's a really hard thing to do. I bet. It's much easier to design a space station in a film <laughs> or a ship than it is to design a watch. <laughs> Does this speak at all to the fact, I mean, for you, is Interstellar, like, you've done a lot of amazing films. Yeah. Is Interstellar in some way a favorite more than, say, some other films? Yeah, I... It's funny, I watched it. We just finished um, Dunkirk. Uh, right. And before Dunkirk, we went. We always look back on many films, but we decided to screen Interstellar after having not seen it. I hadn't seen it for a, in a year, maybe yeah, over a year. Mm. And um, I, I was. It's one of my favorite films so we've made. So I just because of the. I think I always wanted to. It's just a genre I've never touched. Or I right. Always. I, I just really enjoyed the design of it. And it was a, the design was, cha it was super challenging. So, um, yeah, I think I, I'm really proud with our achievement on that film. I don't think, I think with, to make it to Stella, I had to have made every other film to be able to have the knowledge to make that. Because I don't, I think it was, uh, I, there's no chance I could have made that without having made a significant number of other smaller films. Mm. Do you have an interest in doing more science fiction now down the road? Would you? Uh, I don't know. I'm doing a, a musical at the moment. A musical? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, a film uh, yeah. called The Greatest Showman. And, and yeah. I'm kind of super enjoying that because it's, it's just so different. Uh, I've never done it before. And uh, that's what excites me. Is that yeah. is that the best part of the job? The fact that you do get to go from project to project that can be so vastly different. Yeah, I, it's, that's what the joy of production design is. Uh, I always tell students. I had one moment on Braveheart. I was an art director, and we built this big battering ram to crash down the gates of York. Right. And we're about to set it alight, and the director comes over to me and says, "Hey, Nathan, is this battering ram going to work?" And he's like, "I, I have no idea. This is my first battering ram." So, <laughs> that is what production design is about to me. What's what's a first that came from Interstellar, and what's a first that's coming from your new work? Uh, I mean, I think I've never been sort of mentally challenged design-wise. Uh, I've never been to that level of design challenge. Uh, I think that's probably the most I've ever had on mm. uh, Interstellar. The new work is is just learning about song and dance and color. We're we're trying to be true to an old MGM musical, so it's about huh. studying the sort of use of backlots and people like Gene Kelly and roller dancing and you know I'm just, just being amazed by something I knew nothing about. Huh. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And would you come back to do design of a f physical object again? Like, would you do more? Yeah, I mean, I'm interested or else? I'm interested in design. So I, I do uh, museum shows and I do right. other, plenty of other things. So uh, I'm, I'm more I'm interested in subject matter and mm. design. And I don't think they specifically uh, confine the film in any way. Right. So, and I think that's as you get older, you also informed. What's great is if I can if I could mix film with something else and leave gaps. I think. Hmm. It, uh, it, I, I, you know, I can build up a better quality of design work by giving myself other projects in between. Right. So, there you go. That's cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the time. I really appreciate it. Good. Time to turn off your big light.